Okay, right now we're at the Geneva Nationals. Thought I'd throw this in for you. These are the ice castles that will be uh, taking place, I believe, on Friday. It'll be open to walk through. At night, they'll be putting lights on and it'll look really pretty. And as you can see, across, they got a, like a real fine, misty uh, sprinkler system that gets these to build over a time period. And you got the weather's got to cooperate to make this happen. And it uh, looks like things are working out real well for the weekend here. Looks like it's uh, doing a real good job. So right now it's kind of gloomy. I'm just kind of giving you an overview of what this looks like. They're not open right now. We're uh, January 29th again, and uh, just thought I'd stop by and show you this. So this is another event going on. This is the Geneva Nationals, and uh, it's actually off of uh, Lake Como. And uh, it's uh, not too far from Lake Geneva, so they decided to have it down here this year. So this is it. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you this too. As you can see, there's a pipe here that runs down along here. And it goes all the way to the ice castles, to the sprinkler system down here. So the whole thing gets misted and it keeps building as time goes on. I don't know how they start it to get it to form like that, but uh, this gives you a kind of an idea of what's involved. You know, so this big pipe is pumping water down there. Yeah, let's see where it connects over here. And it goes way up. Connected to something. Yeah, that something becomes a uh, gets hooked up to. I believe it's a fire hydrant right here. This is where it ends right here, and it follows all the way down to the lake. Well, not to the lake, but a pretty long way. It's almost down to the lake, and then it goes along the edge here. But this will all be open, I believe, Friday. You'll be able to walk through there. I never had a chance to actually go through the ice castles. I only had them on Lake Geneva. And I always missed it. I've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube uh, showing the uh, night show. It's got to be pretty, real pretty. Well, that's it for this. Sorry you couldn't get down here. At least you got an idea what it looks like and what's all involved with it. So we'll get... Uh... Okay, so that was the ice castles. Uh, when you come in off of Highway 50, uh, you turn into the Geneva Nationals, of course. And uh, don't be alarmed. I mean, you're going to have to drive quite a ways. I didn't realize it was that far in. You know, but you, it seems like you go forever, you just follow signs and they'll take you right in. And uh, normally you can't get into Geneva Nationals until you go through the main gate. You know, in this case here, you're, uh, they got it open uh, for the public for the weekend. So you'll be able to get in with no problem. So just be patient, uh, follow signs, and you'll get right here. Okay, we'll continue on. Okay, uh, on the way home, I was uh, thinking about this. Uh, ice castle thing, you know, I never really explained what I thought on how they build this ice castle and this is just my opinion and you guys can tell me your opinion on the comments you know, maybe you know more about it than I do, but this would be basically what I would think the way they come up with uh, getting all these different heights of all these different lengths of uh, you know, small domes that are going up to form this big castle that they built. Uh, so my opinion is this, you know, as you know, I shot I shot the footage of these this big six inch pipe coming off of one of the hydrants from up by the road 
going all the way down halfway to the to the lake and then they, you look at you see all these individual uh, domes that are formed that are real skinny and they go up and they make a dome on top well the way I see it is that they probably what they do is they got the big six inch pipe running down and then they got a lot of valves that go off of that and they, they veer off the individual different lengths of different pipes and each pipe has a sprinkler head on top and it slowly oozes out the water and then it goes down the pipe and then it freezes as it's coming up and then it keeps open at the top while it's building ice and then on top of that what they do is they got a bunch of sprinklers throughout the whole yard that's putting a mist over the whole works so it keeps everything you know looking good you know so I mean there's a lot of plumbing involved that goes into that so I just thought that uh, I'd add this to you. I'm doing it at my home here. Uh, give you a brief on how that's made. So if that's helpful, I hope it is. Uh, if you got any, any other ideas, maybe you know more about it than I do, uh, feel free to leave me uh, a comment on it.